Getting a mailbox full warning in Outlook? Don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through simple and effective methods to clear up space, fix the Outlook mailbox full error, and get back to sending emails without any hassle. Let's first talk about why the Outlook mailbox gets full. It's mainly due to large emails with attachments, unemptied deleted or junk folders, and no archiving of old emails. PST and OST files can also grow large over time. Sometimes, incorrect settings or a full server add to the issue. Outlook mailbox size depends on your account. 15 gigabytes for freeoutlook.com and 50,100 gigabytes or more for Office 365 or Exchange plans. Let's also check the mailbox size in Outlook. In Outlook, click the File button at the top left. Then check Mailbox Settings to view your mailbox size. Another way is to right-click your email account in the left panel. Select Data File Properties. Then click Folder Size. This shows detailed storage usage for each folder like Inbox, Sent, Spam, Drafts, and total size of the selected account. Now that we've covered why the Outlook mailbox gets full and how to check its size, let's move on to how you can fix the mailbox as full error in Outlook. Here are the top 7 methods to fix the mailbox as full error in Outlook. Let's try the first method. Empty deleted items and junk email folders. Open Outlook and expand the account list from the left panel. Right-click on the deleted items folder and select Empty Folder. Then click Yes to confirm. Do the same for the junk email folder. Right-click and choose Empty Folder. Then confirm. Now let's automate this process. For deleted items, click on File at the top left. Then go to Options. In the new window, select Advanced and enable the option Empty Deleted Items folder when exiting Outlook. Click OK to save. For junk email, click on the Home tab. Then click the three dots on the right. Go to Junk. Junk Email Options. In the new window, enable Permanently Delete Suspected Junk Email instead of moving it to the Junk Email folder. And then click Apply and OK. That's it. Your junk and deleted folders will now stay clean automatically. Let's try the second method, using the Mailbox Cleanup tool. In Outlook, click on File at the top left. Then select Info from the left side. On the right, under Mailbox Settings, click the Tools button and choose Mailbox Cleanup. A new window will open with several helpful options. The first one, View Mailbox Size lets you check the total size of your mailbox and the space used by each folder. The second option, Find Items Older Than, allows you to search for emails older than a specific number of days, so you can manually delete them if needed. Just below that, there's the Find Items Larger Than option, where you can set a size in kilobytes to locate large emails or attachments. After entering your preferences, click on Find, and Outlook will show the results based on your input. You can then delete any items that are taking up too much space. And that's it. Now let's try the third method, using Auto Archive to archive old emails automatically. In Outlook, click on File. Then go to Options at the bottom of the left panel. In the new window, select Advanced from the left menu. Then under the Auto Archive section, click on the Auto Archive Settings button. A small window will appear. Enable the option Run Auto Archive Every and set the number of days, for example, 5 days after which Outlook should archive old emails. In the Clean Out Items Older Than section, choose how old the emails should be before they're archived and set the time unit as months, weeks, or days. Below that, you'll see Move Old Items to with a default folder path. If you want to save archived emails elsewhere, click Browse to choose a different location. Once everything is set, click OK. And that's it. Auto Archive will now manage old emails based on your settings. Let's try the fourth method. Delete or compress email attachments. In Outlook, select your email account from the left panel. Then click on the search bar at the top and type has attachments semicolon yes, then press enter. This will filter and show only the emails that contain attachments. 
Now, select one of the emails from the results. Click on the File tab at the top left, and from the menu on the left, choose Save Attachments. A small window will appear showing all the attachments in that email. Select all of them and click OK. Next, choose the folder where you want to save the attachments, and then click OK again. Now, click on the same email that had the attachment. In the email view, right-click on the attachment and select Remove Attachment from the list. A warning message will appear. Click Remove Attachment to confirm. If there are multiple attachments, repeat the same steps to remove them. Keep in mind, this process needs to be done one email at a time, which can be time-consuming. Let's also try fifth method increase Outlook mailbox size if you're using Exchange or Microsoft 365. Your mailbox limit can be increased. For work accounts, contact your IT admin to request more space or enable archive mailboxes. If you're on a personal Microsoft 365 plan, upgrade to a higher plan for more storage. Enterprise plans, E3, E5, offer up to 100 gigabytes plus unlimited archive. Check your current plan at admin.microsoft.com or ask your admin. Now let's try the sixth method, Compact Outlook Data File. Click on File at the top left. Then select Info and go to Account Settings. And in the list click on Account Settings. In the new window, switch to the Data Files tab. Select your account. And click Settings. A small window will appear. Just click on Compact Now to reduce the data file size. And that's it. Manual methods can be difficult for regular Outlook users. Experts recommend using automated tools for better results. A, A tool like SysTools PST Compress can safely compress PST files without data loss, making the process quick and hassle-free. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. Here you can see the software comes with a simple and user-friendly interface. Now you can select Add Files and Folders or Search Files option to load your files in the software pane. Let's choose the Add Files option to add either single or multiple files from desired system location. In the next window, you can see the preview of selected PST files. The software also provides an option to remove any chosen file by selecting the Remove button. If you want to remove all files, then select the Removal button. Let's check out the below options one by one. Remove Attachment. Using this option, one can remove the attachment from the added file. Compress Attachment by opting for this option. Users can compress the attachment and zip files in order to compress the file. Remove and save attachment and folder. This option gives you the facility to remove the attachment from the file and save it to a specific folder. Remove and compress attachments in a folder. If one can use this option, then they can easily extract the attachments from the file and save it in a zip format in the folder. You can pick any of them as per your requirement. After making the desired selections, then below, hit the Next button. In this tab, you can also mark and unmark the files folders. If required, then you can also select to exclude deleted items and exclude junk folders. Checkbox option. Now click the Change button to choose a destination folder to save the output files. Then hit the Next button to proceed further. Here you can apply multiple advanced filter options. Tick the checkboxes provided under the Select Items Type section to extract multiple attachments from email. Contact Calendar, Journal. Click the Add button to compress the attachments in a specific date range. You can also choose the File Size option to define the file size of attachment. Next is File Type option to define the specific file format for attachments. Now click on the Specify Duplicate Criteria option to find and remove duplicates via particular email fields. Time to select the next button to initiate the file compression process. 
After the process completes successfully, then click OK. In this screen you can see the success count, fail count, attachment count, duplicate items, status and destination path as well. Now let's check out the output files. Open destination folder. Here you can see the compressed file. Compressed attachments folder and export report or attachment export report as well. You can also see the compressed attachments in zip file format. Now you can import output file and outlook to preview the details. And that's it. Hope you enjoy the video.